to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of Common Sense, Joe Biden. I believe he was trying to announce that he's running for president again, which technically he didn't run for president in 2020 because he was hiding in the freaking basement. But it feels like I'm in a, in a bad, I'm in a nightmare or something. Like I'm in a Freddy Krueger movie or something. I'm in a, a Friday the 13th Jason movie because this has to be a nightmare. Are you saying that the American people are this dumb to believe anything this fool says? I'm going to let you look at what he actually says before, because he's talking about freedom and democracy while he's sickening the DOJ and the FBI on parents. While he has the DOJ and the FBI, well, his handlers are because he's not smart enough to do it, are trying to stop Donald Trump from even running for president. Let me let you listen to the ad first and see how much how inspired you are by listening to one Joe's Abad. This one Joe's Abad. Freedom, personal freedom, is fundamental to who we are as Americans. There's nothing more important, nothing more sacred. That's been the work of my first term, to fight for our democracy. This shouldn't be a red or blue issue. To protect our rights, to make sure that everyone in this country is treated equally and that everyone is given a fair shot at making it. But you know, around the country, MAGA extremists are lining up to take on those bedrock freedoms. Cutting Social Security that you've paid for your entire life while cutting taxes for the very wealthy. Dictating what health care decisions women can make. Banning books and telling people who they can love. All while making it more difficult for you to be able to vote. When I ran for president four years ago, I said we're in a battle for the soul of America, and we still are. The question we're facing is whether in the years ahead, we have more freedom or less freedom, more rights or fewer. I know what I want the answer to be, and I think you do too. This is not a time to be complacent. That's why I'm running for re-election, because I know America. I know we're good and decent people. I know we're still a country that believes in honesty, respect, and treating each other with dignity. That we're a nation where we give hate no safe harbor. We believe that everyone is equal, that everyone should be given a fair shot to succeed in this country. Thank you for choosing Thank us. You. Well, every generation of Americans has faced a moment when they have to defend democracy. Stand up for our personal freedom. Stand up for the right to vote and our civil rights. And this is our moment. So if you're with me, go to JoeBiden.com and sign up. Let's finish this job. I know we can. Because this is the United States of America. There's nothing, simply nothing we cannot do if we do it together. Just so we clear. The same fellow who gave us 40-year high inflations, the same fellow who made us be less all independent, the same fellow who's let 6 million illegals invade our country, the same fellow who sick the DOJ, the FBI, on parents, same fellow who got them to run up in Mar-a-Lago, at least his administration did because he's not smart enough, got them to run up in Mar-a-Lago because the fellow who he ran against, they don't want him running again. He's talking about democracy and freedom. Same fellow who can't ride a bicycle, he's too dumb to put his foot down when the bicycle stops. He can't walk up the steps or down the steps without tripping. That fellow wants to run to be president. And they already said they're not going to have a debate because he can't debate.
The same fella who needs a cue card when he enters a room so he can tell people, hello, my name is Joe Biden. I'm married to Jill Biden. I'm Jill Biden's husband. I like ice cream. Am I in a freaking nightmare or what? The same fella whose son, I want you to think about this one here though. Joe Biden's son, go back 30, 40 years ago. Say Ronald Reagan's son, say Bill Clinton's son. Well, I guess it wouldn't, no, it would have made a difference even then. Bill Clinton's son, go back to Nixon's son. Gerald Ford's son had a son, not just because he smoked crack or was on crack, but he videotaped himself doing crack with the same laptop that he dropped off at the shop, recording himself doing crack with whores. This is the fella that Joe Biden and the whole Biden clan was allowing to distribute the money. Now we have 12 Bidens. He wants to run for office. We're going to ignore that Mr. Anthony Blinkett got the 51 or so ex-Intel people to lie about it being Hunter Biden's laptop. Didn't it have uh, uh, the, his brother's name on the damn laptop? I mean, like inscri in inscribed on there some kind of way. But all the emails, text messages, video, and everything else, him smoking crack, looking into the camera, high as I don't know what, stalk bucking naked. You think that that fella could have ran 40 years ago, not just because his son on crack, his son is the one who's been peddling influence to the communist Chinese, to Russia, to Ukraine, and any other damn country you can name. They, they allowed, so Hunter is the smartest person in the Biden family. He couldn't get no, neither one of his brothers who's not on crack to handle the money because if we had said that Hunter Biden was smoking crack with whores, if we came out and said that and we didn't have the laptop, they'd have said Russian disinformation. Same folks who talked about the PP dossier on Donald Trump. Zero evidence found out that was a lie. But if we had said that Hunter Biden was smoking crack with whores and we didn't have the evidence, they'd have said you a liar. They'd have got 56 ex-Intel community people to say this. But this is the fellow who wants to run for office. Because... All of the Bidens is up to 12 now. Lock them all up, but nothing's going to happen to them. All of the Bidens were allowing Hunter to be like the point man. This Joe Biden wants to run for office, and Hunter is the smartest one in the family, and he's a crackhead. That fellow wants to run for office. The fellow who's been peddling influence, the fellow who had the prosecutor fired in Ukraine because it was investigating Burisma with Hunter Biden. The crackhead, did I mention he smokes crack? While doing business deals. So what kind of information does China or Russia or these other countries have on Hunter? They keep asking the question, is Joe Biden compromised? If you have to ask the question, are you slow or what? Of course he's compromised. Those LLCs that Joe Biden and his whole family were getting paid off, they weren't even a legitimate business because they weren't producing any business. The only business they were doing is selling influence. We will hook you up. Give us money. That's what they were selling. This is a scandal of all scandals. And this fool got the nerve to be telling me he's running for office again. Thought April's Fools was over with. He's running for office again after the catastrophe that he's put on us. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Banks collapsing. We just spent over $100 billion in Ukraine and losing the war still. Joe Biden has broke every law you can name, and he's running again. This, to me, proves the FBI and the DOJ is corrupt right here. Because they know where in the hell if they wouldn't corrupt with all the data and information we have on the Biden family, there's no way he'd be running for office. He got impeached already. Okay, we want to know if the intel community, the DOJ, the FBI, we want to know if they have been weaponized. If you have to ask the question, you're slow. Of course they are, because if they were a legitimate organization, as nowhere in the hell Joe Biden would be still president. He never even made his president. 
because the FBI and the DOJ knew all this information before he ran in 2020. And now he gives an ad to say he's running again. And the disrespect they have for us, too. Hunter gets on the plane along with Joe's sister to go over to Ireland after being investigated. That's a great big F you. This is the fellow who wants to run for office again. The fellow who can't answer any questions because anytime he gets ready to answer questions, he can have another leader sitting in there. Joe Biden is sitting in there. And as soon as they get through making little prepared statements, his crew starts screaming, okay, thank you very much for coming. That fellow wants to run for president again. The one who can't wipe his own butt wants to run for president again. The man who is the worst president in the history of this country, he should be hiding somewhere, proving that our country is completely done. The hell is he even qualified to run for office again? Damn, how many wrecks he has to have? He didn't wreck the economy. He didn't wreck the military. He didn't wreck everything he's touched. Border is, we don't have a border. Technically, we're one with Mexico. We don't have a border. The drug cartel runs our border. That's who's in charge of our freaking border. That's the fellow who wants to run for office again. Are you freaking kidding me? I bet Hunter Biden can't wait, boy. Who's this dope man, by the way, anyway? Unbelievable. And you don't, you don't have to look for evidence because Hunter gave us the evidence. Not only did Hunter videotape himself smoking crack, doing crack, by the way, did we mentioned he brought an illegal gun, lied on the application, which is a felony. So after Hunter Biden did all of that, after he did all of that right there, this fool drops his computer off and never picks it up. So therefore, now is the property of the computer store owner. And then he's, the intel tries to intimidate him. And we want to ask if the FBI, the DOJ, has been weaponized. Nobody has ever had this much evidence against them and not been charged with nothing. And now they're going to try to charge Donald Trump with another crime. Uh, I think it's racketeering. They're going to try to give him a RICO in Georgia. And all this information on Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and the Biden clan, now one single indictment, you got to ask if it's been weaponized, fool. Hell is wrong with you. You must be smoking crack. Crack is whack, as Whitney would say. You got to stay away. Because the only way somebody can be pretending as if the Bidens are completely compromised is they got to be on crack. Matter of fact, you must be butt naked on crack, smoking it with Hunter. He wants to run again. Talking about democracy. He's weaponized everything. Destroyed everything he's ever touched. He's never been smart. This moron can't even give a press conference to announce he's running for president. He releases this dumb video full of lies. Completely lies. Hogwash. We want to finish the job. You mean finish destroying the country? We believe in everybody having an opportunity. He means the LGBTQ uh, supercalifraction is the expialidocia. If you say it loud enough, just call yourself the A to the Z. All this LGBTQ, keep adding A to Z, damn it. That's who you are. So when you come up with a new pronoun, put it in there. After a while, they're going to start saying, we don't want a letter. It letter is a, these letters are white. These white supremacist letters we don't want the A, the B, or none of that stuff right there because it's white supremacy. This fella wants to run for president again. He's the one who brought that Dylan fella to the White House the first time. See, there's only a, a certain amount of sickness you can go to. Maybe Joe got a crush on Dylan because you can only do uh, all this other perverted stuff so long that all of a sudden you start being a switch hitter. He does take showers with his daughter. How much money did Ashley get when Hunter Biden was doing his split? And he wants to be president again. Please wake me up from this damn nightmare. 